Hey everyone, welcome back to Spartan V. Today, I'm going to be running you through a bit of a visual journey of my, my hair loss and how I got to where I am now and, and what it's done for me, including my mental health. That will be a different subject I'll touch on, but I will briefly run over it. But hopefully, you know, this will give you a good insight to how I got to this point and I'll try and go through some of the mistakes I made and where I've got to now. Hopefully you'll enjoy it and if so please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So today's video is sponsored by Levivid. Obviously you have the hair system on and all the details are down in the description. Don't forget to use code SAM15 if you do want that 15% discount on anything you order from Levivid. So let's get cracking. Okay, so first of all, the first picture of me. Apologies, these are going to be a bit grainy, these pictures. The cameras back when I was younger were not very good at all. So obviously it does get better as time progresses on, but I'm just trying to give you a good visualisation of it. So my first one. So, you know, I was quite young here. I think I was around about 20. I think so, around about that sort of point. And, you know, even at this age, I've got a slight receding part of my hairline starting to happen. You know, I still able to style my hair and try and make it look nice. But, you know, like I said, the receding started quite early for me. So, you know, this is one of the oldest sort of pictures I've got that I think is most relevant to this. Moving on to the next one. This is me in Cuba, so a bit older. So again, you know, I'm still able to style my hair. I've got the receding part that I hid quite well at this stage, but it wasn't too bad at this point. So, you know, again, around about mid twenties, I think this was. So yeah, it's starting to go, but I hid it quite well in this picture. There's another picture I'm gonna show you, which will show how receding it is. So we'll go on to the next one. So this is me older now and I'm using a lot of hair fibers in this picture. So the front's going but it doesn't look too bad around the sides. Again, it's the hair fibers. I used to use them like crazy to cover, you know, my back bald spot and, you know, round the top and the sides. So it didn't look too bad here, but the I'll try and zoom in a bit. The front is quite thinning on this bit here. So it, you know, I could still do my hair, but it was a lot of work. Okay, beautiful picture of me and Cuba again. The same holiday, as you can see here, you can really see my hair how it's receded at the side, thinning at the front. And yeah, it's, again, it always took a lot of hard work to actually just do my hair. But again, my, my hair loss in my mid twenties was rapidly proceeding. So it was getting difficult to cover up. So again, this is a bit older now. You can really see the thinning at the front here. And my receding part, it was getting hard to hide with my hair. So, and you can see me trying to hide it there, but it's really thin at the front. So, you know, it continued like this and it rapidly happened as I went along. So now, this is me when I decided I had to shave it. So I was doing the Ride London here, the 100 mile for charity, but yeah, I lost my hair and I was like, I've got to shave it because as you can see here, it had completely gone. I could no longer hide it. It was really thin on top and you know, there's not much you can do once it gets to that point apart from shave it. Uh, otherwise it's just too obvious with the massively balding parts that are on there. So, you know, at this point, I was at a point where for many years, I really struggled with, you know, losing my hair. I had, uh, I had suffered with mental health issues probably through most of my life, depression, anxiety, and a few other things along the way with it. I had a bit of a, a body image issue as well again a lot to do with with the hair I you know I like to go out I like to 
do my hair and try and make it look as good as possible. So when I could no longer do that, I lost a lot of confidence. You know, I came anxious from what people thought of me at the time and um, how, how I saw myself. It made me feel quite low. And getting to, you know, that point where I was like, I, I need a hair system. I had some people tell me not to do it and other people obviously very supportive. But I was like, you know, I'm, I'm just doing this. I'm going for the hair system. So just one of the pictures. This is now just an average picture for me. I love taking pictures. As I've said before, this is a real sort of game changer. And um, it's given me so much more confidence in myself that I, you know I didn't believe I, I could have. But this is something that, yeah, really made an impact to me. When I first got the hair system, yeah, it wasn't great, but it was a learning curve and I had to learn how to do it. And I feel like I've got to a, a good place with it now. And, you know, it's just so nice to, to look in the mirror and be like, wow, I can do my hair, it changed the face structure. And, you know, it's pushed me more towards my goals. So now, these are the type of pictures I take. I feel confident taking a picture. I feel to myself, you know, I look so much better, I look good. And, you know, it's just, it's just so nice just to do my hair. And with this, you know, this isn't something that, you know, will, will happen to everyone. But for me, because of getting my confidence back, some of my mental health issues have completely gone down. Like everyone, you know, they don't completely disappear. But, you know, it's gone down, it's got a lot better. And, you know, it is now pushing me to this. So me going from before, I got my hair system and I was like, bang, you know what? I don't just want the hair, I want to give myself the full package. I want to be that person who I used to visualize, who I used to visualize myself being. And yeah, you know, it's not cocky. I might look like I'm, I'm showing off, but why not? You know, I've given myself a new lease of life and it has changed things for me dramatically. And I'm only gonna keep pushing to better myself. And yeah, you know, you might think, oh, this isn't just down to the hair system. It was a starting point for me. This is what kicked me up the arse, if I'm honest, and made me look at myself differently. You know, there's a lot of people out there that it wouldn't do that same sort of thing or don't need this. But, you know, if you're watching this, I presume this is something you're thinking about, something you have. Um, you know, and I just want to sort of say, even if you're at a point where you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I want it anymore, you know, it's something that can, you can look at it from different angles. And I, I love it. As, as to say, I, I won't be without one now. I'm a proud hair system wearer. I spread the word, I tell people I know most of the time. It's helped my mental health, it's helped my confidence. Yeah, it's a learning curve and you've got to take a bit of time when you're doing your hair, but that is what it is. And that is what life is about, is trying to make your life better so you can be happier with who you are. If you're at that point, then things become easier. And, you know, I just wanted to share that with you today because it is uh, something that has changed my life and I hope it continues changing yours or if you haven't had it done yet, you know, hopefully you can think about it and it could have that same effect on you. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Another episode coming next week.